Hello and welcome. My name is Dana Harris Seeger. Uh, this is my studio, the print shop at Visual Philosophy. And um, I want to talk today about some differences between oil based ink and water based ink because I'm a printmaker, um, meaning I use uh, an indirect method of making an image whether that's a wood block or a screen print or a lithograph. Um, I use I create an image on something else and then put ink on it or transfer that to a piece of paper. So it's an indirect process. And I do this using a few different types of materials and each um, media is has its own um, unique inks that it is uh, compatible with. So there's also, in addition to the, the types of ink that you want to use for the material, the media, uh, you also want to pay attention to whether you're using water-based products or oil-based products. And by that I mean um, water-based water -based products. Um, you might think of like acrylic paint or watercolor, um, things that can be um, washed and cleaned up with water. But there are some um, materials that might be a little bit confusing, oil-based water-soluble ink, for instance, um, and you might also be wondering like when you would use or want to use a water-based versus an oil-based or vice versa. Depending on the type of um material or media you're using might determine what whether you're using oil-based or water-based ink. For instance, uh, one of my favorite methods is lithography, which you can only use um, in the traditional method. You can only use oil-based ink because it runs on the principle that oil and water are mutually exclusive. So you're wetting the stone while you're printing it and rolling it up with oil-based ink. And if you were to use water-based ink, then all your image would just dissolve. So because the oil gets repelled by the water and vice versa, we can use oil-based ink and water for lithography. Uh, but that means that one of the differences between those is that you need to clean up your materials, the stone, the um, roller that you're using, any ink knives that you might be using to mix your ink. You need to clean that up with a solvent like mineral spirits. Um, in lithography, for instance, that would be lithotene, which is specific to the litho ink. And the, the only difference, I mean, it's still an oil-based ink, but it's made in such a way that it's better for the process of lithography and without getting too deep into it, um, because you want the ink just to sit on the surface, it's a planographic process, so you're not rolling it on top or wanting to embed it inside the um, grooves like you would in an intaglio. Um, you really want it to just sit very tightly on the surface, so you want to make sure that your ink is uh, prepared in such a way that it will, it will make that um, do that the best. And so you wouldn't want to use oil-based block printing ink or oil-based intaglio ink unless you modified it so that it would be very tight and tacky. Um, so all these different inks, uh, even if they're oil-based, have different properties, like I said, and depending on what type of printmaking you're using, um, you could use either. So for instance, if you were doing a wood block, they make block printing ink that is water-based or water-soluble, and they also make some that is oil-based or solvent-soluble. Um, so the uh, benefits to using a water-based um, material, water-based ink, would be that it dries very quickly. I'm sure any of you know who have been, um, have done any kind of oil painting or oil work, you know, I don't know, staining, know that it takes a while to dry. An oil painting can cure, take anywhere from like a week to a year to cure. Um, with ink and printmaking, it's usually a thinner layer and I'm building up a big impasto, so it could take a day to a week to fully dry and cure on the paper. 
Um, so using a uh, water-based ink might be a better bet for you if you want to, these to dry very quickly. Um, but one of the drawbacks is that they dry very quickly. So if you are making a monotype and you've got this, um, or making a run of like a hundred prints and you notice that your ink keeps drying on you and you have to keep uh, refreshing it, then you might want to use an oil-based product um, because they do stay open and wet longer. Um, the, like I said before, the oil base generally needs a solvent to, um, to clean up, but they do make um, soy solvents made from uh, non-toxic soy beans. Um, those are generally kind of greasy, so you want to make sure that you degrease your surfaces with like a simple green or Windex or something um, once you're done with that. But, um, that will eliminate the need for some toxic um, chemical products. But they also, there also is um, a range of water-soluble oil-based inks. And by that I mean that the inks uh, are oil-based, so they have the pigment mixed with the linseed oil, but on the spectrum of oiliness to water-solubleness, uh, these inks are more on the side of the water solubleness. So you do need soap to clean them up or some kind of soap product um, like Windex or the soy cleaner. Um, but they, they will also be soluble in water. And that means that um, they do take longer to dry, just like an oil ink or oil paint, um, but they are much less cumbersome to clean up because they can just be cleaned up with water and soap. Um, so it eliminates a couple steps. Uh, they're also a little bit less toxic to, to you, you know, if you're sensitive to the um, chemicals in the oil-based products. Using one of the water-soluble, this one's made by uh, Charbonnel called Aqua Wash, um, but there's a whole other, um, there's a whole other range of them. Um, so they have benefits of both. Um, this is a Daniel Smith etching ink. Sometimes the water-based inks don't have the richness and the vibrancy of the oil-based because the water products just can't get the light absorption that the oil-based can. Um, so some artists, myself included, like the oil-based products better because it ends up looking better as a print. Um, but for instance, for screen printing, I don't use oil-based products because the surface is so flat um, that I just use water-based. It's so much easier to clean up. Um, I don't need to put chemicals on my screen. I just stick it in the sink and spray it with water, give a little scrub with a sponge. Um, so in that case, I would recommend I use water-based ink um, for screen printing. Um, but I hope that helps a little bit, um, kind of give you an idea of the difference between the oil-based and the water-based inks and why and when you would choose um, them for your uh, printmaking. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you've tried something and you like it or tried it and you're having problems, let me know. I'd be happy to help. I've been using uh, water-based and oil-based products um, for about 20, 25 years. So I have a lot of experience and with troubleshooting my own work. Um, so I hope that helps and we'll see you soon.